Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we'll be looking at a new Windows Insider build. This is 21390 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And once again, I think Microsoft are keeping all their new features and uh, rumored stuff for uh, Windows 10 well hidden at the moment until there's some kind of official announcement event. And then I guess we'll start seeing those changes uh, after that. So at the moment, we're still on the CEO release branch and I think all the nice goodies are probably in RS release which is why we're not seeing them but there are a couple of changes to this build that I want to show you and I'll also go through the fixes and the known issues. The the two features that Microsoft call out is Task Manager as you can see here has got a new icon um, Microsoft call them the, the they're now the ongoing iconography improvements so it's got fluent icons so there you go there's the new Task Manager icon uh, you can see that there so uh, a bit of a more modern look. The other uh, set of system icons that's changed are MSI installer files. I think I've got one on here. There you go. That's the new look for MSI installer files on there. So, yeah, um, <laughs> not exactly major changes, but they are they are new. The other change as well is you can set the um, Windows terminal as the default uh, terminal. So instead of command prop coming up by default. Windows Terminal comes up. I think I've got that installed on here. Um, yeah, the Windows Terminal. So you can have that as the default if you've got uh, the preview version, which is 1.9 or higher. I use that all the time, really, especially on my production machines. It's a, it's a much more flexible tool than the old command prompt. Although I must admit, the, the old command prompt does get me out of a lot of issues. Uh, so it's still still got fond memories of that. Right, the rest of the things are just fixes. They fixed an issue with the news and interest on the taskbar to, um, can be blurry. So this is the news and interest down here. Um, yeah, not uh, this. Is, we've shown this in a few videos. Um, uh, this is the news and interest that shows up there. I've noticed on my machine it really is ready for a refresh. This is pretty slow at the moment. This build, um, not so much this build, but the last. Well, I, I haven't refreshed this for well over a year and been installing builds. I think it's about time it was it was cleaned up, and uh, I'll do a fresh start on this. But anyway, there's user interest. They fixed some issues with the service host crashing. They fixed some issues with start reliability. Um, I did see that where I was trying to go to say like the snipping tool, and I'd start typing, and nothing would come up, and that kind of thing. And that's been fixed on this. And they fixed some uh, dark mode issues with file explorer uh, as well um they fixed some issues with keyboard focus task manager and the incorrect icon and some uh, builds crashing when trying to install it and they've um, they reckon they've fixed those what's interesting in this is there's just the three known issues now uh, the camera app uh, does not reset respect the default brightness the search uh, results are unexpectedly no longer following the dark theme which is something they mentioned in the fixes, and using interest would occasionally come to fly out from the top corner. So those are the only changes that they're really talking about in these builds. And uh, yeah, I think we're waiting for all the good stuff now. And once we get that, then we'll be a new UI, a new store, and that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com. I'm at iSticks on Twitter. Please like the video if you do like it, and you can subscribe as well and get more videos from us. And I'll see you on the next one.